Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Let's Play with Author J.P. Edgar. I play some games I never really played before. Today we are starting a journey with Oxide Rune 104 on the Nintendo Switch, as requested by the community. And, yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get going. All right, so this is kind of uh, generally untested. We did some minor tests, but we, there are some minor hiccups going on that we're trying to figure things out, primarily the audio. That's why I'm kind of hardwired in today. But I'm getting some minor feedback. I'm getting some uh, stuff coming in from Amazon here soon. So hopefully that'll fix things. But yeah, um, we'll see if things work out properly, right? We'll see if things work out properly. Support autosave. Okay, I actually heard something. That's the good news. So it looks like I will be able to play. Um, I have some pretty old hardware like my audio toggles and stuff like that and because I'm hearing a hum right now instead of uh, like when you were hearing that heartbeat in the uh, in the in the timer I wasn't hearing that I was just hearing the hum that was really frustrating and really annoying so uh, I have no idea what this game is about I was just said oh well here's your game um, YOLO no hum anymore okay I hear music, so that means I do actually have audio. That's the good news. That's the good news. It's my first Switch game on the Let's Play. I'm excited. I'm excited. So I don't know if this is the uh, the introduction of the game or just the title screen. Ooh, vibrations. Didn't even think about, I didn't, totally didn't think about that. Didn't even think about that. Very softened textures. Oh, I was supposed to read the subtitles, huh? I was too busy looking around. <laughs> Um, that's money well lost. Matt, don't go back to the hotel. Apparently, I will be playing Matt, whether completely or temporarily. Oh, okay. I just got clowned in the face. <laughs> well, game over. <laughs> well, thanks for playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a quick game. So, I have uh, quite a few options for the game after this. So, I'm still trying to figure out how to actually get a uh, a good sense of community input for the next games, the games to follow. So, um, Z L and Z R get up. Okay. Oh, hello there. Just chilling in a tub. Mert. What the heck is going on? And I got jumped by a clown. Now I'm getting all sorts of fuzzies. Um, is that like... Oh, a centipede. Many a feet is squiggly. Oh, it's just... Jibbly, jibbly, jibbly. Nintendo allowing swear words. That's interesting. Okay. Man, what is going on? That guy's a little crispy. Yeah, you just got clocked in the face. You're probably missing uh, some organs, but... I've got to find my okay, so I was expecting um, this game annoyed the hell out of me. Um, I was expecting um, accelerometers to work, but apparently not. So. so left stick is movements, forward, backward, strafe left or strafe right. And the right stick is the camera. 
the diagonal is a little shaky. It's a little wonky. The controls are a little funky. I can see up and down clearly, but I can't like go diagonal very quickly. So very wonky, very wonky. So that little uh, dot in the middle of the screen is basically what I'm focused on. So let's start looking around, see if we can find your clothes in the medicine cabinet. It's a wasted opportunity that, did it, that they didn't use the accelerometer on this. But there's probably a reason. There's probably a reason. Nintendo also allows a teen. Really? Huh. Okay. That's awesome. Just a glass bottle? Oh, I guess I'll take that. But why are you why are you giving the option? Some objects, such as chests, contain items go to the examine and the inventory to use them. Okay. I will shortly I'm after I don't know what's inside. Well take a look. Um, what? Okay, so I'm clicking on the sink, and it's it's giving me like a little sub menu. It's it's uh very transparent, but you might be able to see it. But right above the clothes, there is an inventory and an X button. So either I have to use something here to make it actually do something, or what? I don't know. So there are shards of mirror, but the mirrors are not being very mirror -y. Okay, so the uh, pushing down on the 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 thumb theme of jiggies do nothing. R one does nothing. R two does nothing. L one looks like L one gives a crouch, and L two does nothing. At least at this time. No, that is a door stopper for a really big door. There's my sneaker. My clothes should be there too. My clothes should be there too. Tell you what, I'll let you do that read again. <laughs> oh, they look a little dirty. Oh, great. They have stuff that I have to read to you. Uh, what kind of what who should be reading? Uh, you know, I'll I'll just do a regular read. I'm not gonna do like any any accents or silly stuff like I did for Resident Evil Zero. I've never written. Well, you're doing a good job. So if anyone reads this, I hope you don't judge me too quickly. It's always seemed interesting to me to talk about what happened to me in my adventures to investigate, but I never had time for it. Now it's what I have the most of time. Okay. Time to look up at the sky, and why not? To write. Oh, it's a woman, so should I do like the high-pitched woman stuff? And since I came to the hotel... Yes, that's a high-pitched woman, apparently. <laughs> and since I came to the hotel, I haven't done anything. <clears throat> and I think it's time to find myself some pastimes. What, like dissecting humans? Okay. I've been at this motel for seven months now. Although I started exploring its floors out of sheer boredom at first, I can't deny that I've grown more curious about its past. My curiosity peaked when I found a room that wasn't there in the floor plan. So far, I know there are 37 rooms in the motel, three more than the building's blueprints. So motel, not the hotel. Why doesn't anyone know about this? <laughs> it could be a good thing for my second hobby, writing. Oh, there's even like a little three, seven, three, seven. Oh, shut up. You're naked. Get over it. So there's a three, seven, three written here. So it's probably going to be either maybe the room here. I don't know. We'll figure it out shortly. Okay, so looks like I'm kind of right. 
Um, when I went to the sink, I pushed A. I got like a little sub menu. It just says inventory. So I guess I can use inventory on some parts. But I went to the stereo. I pushed A. And now I got into the sub menu that has me click one of these buttons for an option. For example, play. Hey, any port in a storm. Okay, so you got the Snickers. Okay, so still kind of looking around, trying to figure out what's going on. A lot of uh, reused dialogue for inventory, like all this, all these toilet papers and this one down here is the same thing. Uh, so I might want to have to like be this thorough on uh, searching all the things. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe uh, I'll. Hey, have you seen Five Minute Crafts? They do some amazing things with those things. Try and pee. I will shortly. Um. I, I suspect I'll be able to look around and see, oh, this does nothing. Oh, this is this does nothing. So at this current point in time, I think it's going to be like one of those, um, I, I have to search all the things. All right. Matt. I thought you were Matt. What am I doing here? I remember traveling in my partner's car to the old motel, but I can't remember anything else. It's as if my head was going to explode. My wrists and ankles are on fire. I can't understand anything. I'm trying to see if I can understand the music. Because if you understand the music, I, I, I don't know. It's just, what the heck's going on? Because I thought I was playing Matt, but Matt apparently wrote this. Are there two Matts? What about my partner Josh and that woman? I can at least remember getting rid of that damn phone. But I wouldn't be half dead. Or it wouldn't be half bad if I could make a call now. That's why you didn't get rid of that damn phone. You don't get rid of phones. I've got to find my pearls. It's locked. Uh force open? Let's let, let's force it open here in a few minutes. But first I have a request in the chat to try and use the urinal. Um it looks like someone already used it. Oh dear. Oh crap. Am I even allowed to play this on stream? <laughs> like seriously. They just dongled the crap out of it. Looks like there's something shiny at the bottom. Oh, oh, anything else. oh dear, there's something shiny at the bottom. I can't carry anything else. Can't carry anything else. Okay, so now that we saw a, uh, a switch deke, I need to figure out how to, oh, apparently there's evil and there's Doc. Spoil alert. Um, it's not really what I wanted. I'm looking for inventory. Inventory, there we are. A password protected box. Oh, well, obviously I can go through here and figure it out. Actually, how many combinations are there? Give me a second. Okay, 10, so uh, 999 combinations. Remember Resident Evil when I had to do like the examinations on every angle because, yeah, it's locked. it's locked, huh? But I can't carry anything else, so I can only carry three items. So, am I gonna have to like put some stuff down? All right. Well, let's start with uh, this box. We have a three-digit combination. However, Right here, there was a three-digit number, 373. So let's see if that's it. 
Let's see if that's it. Ah. Uh, uh, that's because it's not on top. Yeah. There we go. And then we're going to use the key, probably. Are you sure? Bathroom. Okay, well. Oh, zip it. Let's see. Yeah, this, uh. It's locked, but it doesn't seem very sturdy. This, these controls are unusual. Uh, my clothes. My clothes. Okay, so because I have the clothes, I actually have more inventory space. That's interesting. Looks like the key to the bathroom door. How do you know? Oh, the music's done. So I'm wondering if this is actually in English or if I can understand it. So give me one second. Give me one second. Lyrics me, damn it. You know, I'm going to... Continue my search then. Storage. Kind of? I mean, I can kind of understand it. I don't know if, it, if the lyrics are trying to be artistic or if it's actually just scrambled. That is definitely odd. So I think something's up, something's up. So I'm probably going to have to come back and things to do with that again later. But first we need the toilet paper because we just, we're going to have to do this. And you just urinated. Congratulations. Oh, fuck. This is disgusting. Yeah, no crap. Now, now kiss it, sniff it, sniff it. All right, just wash your hands real quick. No, wash your hands. Wash your effing hands. Man, you're dis you're disgusting. All right, so we got a small key and a bathroom key. The small key, small chest, probably for that. All right, what's going on here? Gauze rolls, huh? Okay, then what's this? Antidote for various poisons based on red herbs. I don't understand it, but I guess it'll work. Well, all right. So let's just uh, put these in storage for now because I only have a finite amount of room and dude is not washing his hands. That's That's so gross. You don't have to go back in there. Just wash your hands. Just wash your hands. Don't touch the soap. All right. I think we have successfully searched this room to its fullest potential. Okay, so yeah, his name is in fact Matt. Therefore, we got the the situation of him writing something, saying that he doesn't remember anything, right? What am I doing here? Can't remember traveling in my blah, blah, blah. Had to go to explode. Wrist and ankles are on fire. Partner, woman. I can't. I can't. Only, I can't under, understand anything. So, he wrote himself a note? What is this, some... Um, God, what's that movie called? Like Clean Slate? I don't remember what that movie's called. Basically, it's like someone with like a short-term memory problems, and you had to do like a murder mystery, and he was tattooing stuff on himself to remember. It's locked. I don't remember what that, what that movie was called. Hmm. 
That is some shiny blood, considering how dry it is. Okay. Okay, I got blood drop on the bottom left. I think that's the autosave. You want to go wash your hands yet? Because you just you're touching stuff with urine stains, all the things. No. It's dark. I actually can't see anything. It's like I, I know there's a window because when I highlight it like this, I know there's a window, but I can't actually see it. So I want to. Is there like any settings? Yeah, let's see if I can adjust the brightness a little bit. See if I can actually see this window. Well, kind of. Oh, locked in again. I have to get out of here. All right. All right. Um. Really? You gonna uh, just just uh. Alright, inventory. What was that? That is a pocket flashlight. A ceramic box. Oh man, I have to open every single one with the and actually have the ridicule on it. Let's see, who am I? My name is Matthew G. Matthew G. Foop. <laughs> I was born in the U.S. shortly after my parents died. I was taken to the U.K. where I'm still a boy. Grew up in a small town on the coast where it seemed like some of my family had once lived. That place was completely dead. As soon as I could, I left and never went back. I haven't stopped since. I've always been a ruthless person. And with my work, I've been all over Europe, also meeting some very well-off people could say things are going well for me. Yes, they're going swimmingly. I work with currencies, assets, and things like that, and I have odd jobs as a programmer, whatever I need to get by. So straight up blood hand here. Ooh, piece of candy. And a tater. Well, let's examine this first. Of course. When you are poisoned, you have a limited time to use the antidote. You have to be quick. Is it difficult to know how much time you have left? Oh, fantastic. And I put all that stuff in the uh, in the thingamajiggy, didn't I? I put all that stuff in the thingamajiggy. I guess that's why I gave you the antidote, so when you fiddle with a... Uh, um, a centipede-like object... How do I get things? Okay, hold on a minute. Um, actions, close, actions. Oh, there it is, R. Uh, antidote. Take a and use. Okay. Well, that's grossly inconvenient. I get it. I get it. You're touching things with your pee hand. So gross. It's an empty bucket. A clean ashtray. Messy wash bowl. There's nothing in there. It seems like no water comes out of here. Well, at least he tried this time. Uh, oh, um, I wonder what this is. And my partner, 
I haven't known Josh for long. He's a very particular person. Honestly, I've never liked him all that much, if I'm honest. I like him as much as a swift kick to the balls. That is, yeah. But what are you going to do? He does a great job making buckets of money. And his jobs, he doesn't seem too quick about things he does. I never ask too many questions. I think there are things it's best I don't know. I normally watch my back closely. But a caution, if they catch him doing something illegal, I'm not planning on sticking my neck out for him. Okay, very selfless of you. There we go, searched all of those. So many things. Oh, hmm, okay. Nothing in there. That is locked. Do, do I have a, a key? I do. Wait, I have a lock pick. I don't know. Because it looked very fragile. -y. Okay, I apparently picked up an empty teapot. Okay. See, it's one of those things like. How do I know uh, I'll need a teapot for whatever reason? Uh, look. Okay, so. <laughs> Very finicky controls. Just looking at, looking is just frustrating. So jumpy so there's a uh, just this blood chilling on the inside of the fridge and you I want to try to pick it up again <laughs> now let's see what happens with this poison thing You know, it actually did move. So let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks like on the top right of the screen, there is a little indicator, like a little poison vial that's filling up with red, and I think uh, that's going to be my time. So what's going to happen if I die? Let's get that out of the way first while I'm still clicking things. Oh, I got storage right here. Okay. Yeah, that's it. All right, so he just goes to his eats and says, wow, that's, that's exactly what happens after you get bit by a poisonous centipede. You go on your knees and you say, wow. Wait, what the heck? What the heck? What is going on? I did? I did? What is going on? What's going on? Oh, you're useless. At least try to not make it so noticeable. Try harder next time. Wait. Well, let's get to work. As with any research, if you repeat the same experiment without changing any of the variables, you most likely get the same results. So. Let's make some modifications. What is going on? What? Oh my gosh! <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> wow.
Well, now, I'm... I actually don't know really what to say at this matter. Um... So, if you fail... Oh, man. So, am I going to gimp out and gimp around with the, with the stub? What is... So, okay, what's going on with the foot? He just has a bandage, or, okay, so it's, so it looks like I am quite literally starting from the beginning. However, some things on the, uh, the map are different, such as the mat here. The clothes are out here. What the heck is going on? And did I don't think I have access to the uh, the antidote because I smooth brained it and did an experiment to. Uh, See what happens if you get bit and if you die. Shoes are gone. Okay, so it looks like not all of my progress is lost. What the heck is going on? And, okay, but still, it's just, what the heck's going on? Okay, so I lost the gauze. That's what it looks like. Because it, it just wasn't there. So we got the, the light here. Um, the, uh, the centipede's gone. Oh, I lost the lock picks too, I think. Where was the lock picks? Where was the gauze? Where was where were all the things? You prefer not to take them. Looks like some kind of liquor. Okay, so I don't think I have access to the lock picks or the uh, the gauze anymore. Unless Looks like there's something shiny at the bottom. You are so gross. You are just disgusting. And what's this small key? <laughs> okay, there's the lock picks. So it looks like I actually have like a flashlight or a light source on me. So how do I turn that off? Is there like a quick button? I don't think so. Okay. So the gauze is gone. That's basically what it looks like. That's what it looks like. All right. 
So then, we have two things that are locked. Let's let's check this out. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. He didn't even use it with anything. The teapot's gone. Oh, locked in again. I have to get out of here. Locked in again? I thought you couldn't remember anything. So it looks like I'm losing a lot. I don't know if that's gonna affect anything. So I had the gauze in the in the storage. So the storage isn't going to save you from uh, from dying. Okay. So now that I have the light, I can actually see it. This is this window opens to a wall. It's locked. It's locked. Sam. I don't think I'm going to do a react to uh, this game. I don't think there's really anything to speed run. It's just like a one step after another, but still. Man. But could I have done more things? Like, could I have gotten water with the kettle in the bathroom then use the, uh, um, use the stove to boil it to get more stuff is? I don't know. I just don't know. <sighs> I died in the bathroom before I got to the next room, so I had to physically restart the game. Hey. What the hell? What the hell is right? Shit. What the hell is going on here? What is going on here? <laughs> so it looks like it's uh, reactions, uh, kind of like a uh, like a reflex thing. So you act. Uh, someone just threw a car at me. Okay. What is going on? <laughs> Wait, there's voice acting? <laughs> I have to check the entire storage room before I leave. Uh, map is the minus button. Careful with pool. Stairs, beware of the virus. Two scratchy scratches. Ooh, there's an exit there. There's a reservoir. Okay. It's a storage here. Looks like there's a key to room 111. Since I arrived, this motel has always been going through renovations. I'm not quite sure who's managing it or what they're exactly doing. Honestly, it always looks the same to me. Well, there has been a change for what it's worth, uh, but for the worse, since they started working on the pool area, it's always been impossible to go there from the common area. There's always something in the way or is someone doing something with the sliding doors. Thanks to my investigation skills, I found another way through, a connection between room 203 and 303. I think someone put this, put the interest there to connect both rooms. I don't know why, honestly. It's a big mystery of the motel. Look, I use it to a lot of snake Austin's there's Okay. Oh, I got the gauzes again. Ooh. Are you jealous? <laughs> Now we got a, a pistol. Okay. Oh, L2 is aim the pistol. Okay. Death is only the beginning. I want to die. I want to. I can't bear it longer. I want to. Oh, okay.
This game is weird. Oh, the giraffe. You're not even giving me. Oh, you suck. You got to give me something with the giraffe. Puzzle boxes. Chair. Not giving me any uh, anything to click. All right, so it's a light up top, a little ventilation. I can't be uh, too close to the door, otherwise I'm going to smack myself. <laughs> All right. Now I am outside without the quick time events. I'm just holding the pistol. Walking around. Walking around. Following the left hand wall. Looking at this garlic. Okay. I'm going to go that way shortly. I'm going to kind of finish the uh, perimeter search of this general vicinity. Not going to go down that hall yet. Just checking the pool area. Is there a run? R1 is run. So there's a, uh, a cat meowing. Ooh. <clears throat> oxide, what is oxide? Who is oxide? I am oxide evil. Okay, so. Well, it doesn't really matter because now that we can actually use the light, we can see that it leads to nowhere. All right, so let's... Where the heck did this truck come from? Did it just... I don't know. So we had a woman screaming over here. Let's, uh, let's go investigate the screaming because that's just what we do. I can't carry anything else. Okay, so let's uh, let's go to storage and do something with that. No. Go back to this room. This game is, is weird. It is so weird. It is so weird. I didn't expect loading times on a, on a cartridge game. That is what it is, right? Now that I'm here, I'm going to access the storage and put some potentially non-essentials away. <clears throat> I don't know what some of this stuff is like. What is the point? God's roll. What's. I'm going to put the uh, antidote. I want to hold on to the revolver and these bullets because I might have to shoot something in the face. And we're going to go back out. Wait for the load time again. Unless, of course, there's a storage unit out here that I don't know about. But so far, having to deal with load times just to get the storage unit. Mm. You warned me. You kind of did, but I don't want to uh, know really much of anything about any of the games I play. Primarily because I don't want any expectations or I don't want to uh, any spoilers or anything like that. <laughs> Am I going to have to do the quick time event again? No. First things first. 
You have to get a soda. So, okay. Uh, apparently you cannot get a soda. You are a soda-less child. Okay, I checked 101, but not 103. Let's check that real quick. All right. You know, I've seen a lot of movies where uh, fire extinguishers are valid weapons, so... I just checked that, and he apparently doesn't want that. So, whatever. Whatever. Okay, so... So... Yes, yeah, so I need to find out where that little thing majiggy was. Was it over here? No. It was over here. Looks like a hook of some type. Long stick, attach the hook, okay. So there's a couple of things we can use it for. Either to fish something out of this pristine water or to grab something from afar. That's basically what's going on. So let's uh, continue looking around to see if we can see something such as that. So random X here. Let's use the hook to get it. Hook is flowing into the water. Useless. Useless, useless. All right, what did I get? I got another key? Okay. All right. Let's see. What else we got? We have stairs upward. Let's stay on, the f on this floor for a bit longer. Oh, there's storage. So, yeah, I guess there are storage here. I didn't, I didn't have to go back to the room. But this is the room I actually came from. Okay. I'll check that way. Surely I'm just doing a mental checklist at this point. I really don't want to miss anything. Because when I die, I'm going to lose it anyway. I know that doesn't make sense. So here's the room I came from, 104. Hintity hint in. Just checking this way. random figure nothing over here it looks like nope <laughs> this game is so weird I think I would have really liked a little bit more time on the controls but I also understand this is a multi-platform game so they might not have been able to do multi-function or accelerometer use on something that doesn't have an accelerometer so See if I can actually hop in the back of the truck or see anything. No. This truck irks me. This tree blocks anything, uh, blocks the truck like being Hulk thrown. But there's nothing for the truck to just ramp on. So where the heck did it come from? Where did it come from? do some further investigations because we have a key to room 111 let's go say hi to 111 111 here we go it's going to complete my search oh paper Every day here is more unbearable than the last. I don't know where to hide to feel safe because no, uh, now nowhere feels safe. I'm very scared, but as much as I try, it seems like I'm locked behind these walls. I'm scared that others will leave and I'll be alone in this vast darkness. Why has this happened to me? Why can't I escape? Grandma, why did you send me here? Um, okay, now I got a shovel. Is the shovel going to be used as a weapon, or is it going to be used? No, it's going to be used as a shovel. It's going to be used as a shovel. All right, well, 
I bet you I'm going to have to use a shovel in this in this dirty area. So let's go check out. No, no, no. Let's go to room 111 first. 111. Because the cat howling, we need to we need to investigate. Inventory. Use. <clears throat> I did have a key to 103. I think when I uh, when I died, it got taken away. So I'm wondering if you could just straight up go from po What the hell is that? What is this? What is this? What is that? After the accident, I spoke to a few people who Help me. No one remembers seeing anyone dressed in orange. Someone has been watching me for a day. <coughs> Excuse me. Person who saved me and this person that connected. What is going on here? Comfortable. Looks comfortable. Looks co no. Look at that thing. This is some Silent Hill BS, if you ask me. Weird things have not stopped since the accident. Honestly, I'm a little scared. Last week, one of the construction workers turned up drowned one of the pools. No one knows how he could have fallen in or what happened to him. And some of the motel staff swore they heard screaming. I'm not quite sure what to think. Looks comfortable. Look at that thing. Um, I was trying to sneak past. Oh, looks like I'm injured. That's what the blood is for. So, oh, I might be bleeding out. So I might have to uh, go to storage. And the door's locked. I can't go to storage. Am I going to die? Uh, okay, okay. What the heck is that thing? Man, what is going on with this game? What is going on with this game? So, did I lose all my stuff again? NFTs. This game's getting dated. I need you to go further. Steve's mind is not a pleasant place. But I need to know everything that's in your head. And you are the ones who brought that idiot girl. You can't say you don't deserve it. You know? I need you to give me a hand on something. But seeing as you're a bit disposed here. <laughs> what is going on here?
what is going on? Is this some Matrix BS going on? Because obviously in that scene, Matt's left leg or left foot has been removed. Now his hand. Now he's probably going to wake up back in the in the bathtub where he's going to have to take a leak, put his hand back in the, in the bowl of nasty. <laughs> Man. I'm thinking this is kind of like some Matrix Inception stuff going on. That's why he can't actually physically understand what's go out, uh, but you know the the radio because it's kind of like a dream. That's what I'm gathering. Oh, there's blood in there. There's blood in that. And okay. So his right hand has that bandage. Is he going to stick his right hand in the bowl of nasty to grab that key? Nope, apparently not. <laughs> I think it's because I actually uh, got out of this room. I don't have to do that anymore. But there's nothing in storage again. There's nothing in storage. Get out of here. Oh, there's bullets here. Bullets weren't here uh, the first time. So it looks like not everything's going to be lost. All right. So let's just do some minor searching. It's not going to give me that teapot. I'm kind of curious about that teapot. It's locked. Um, I'm iffy about that. So let's check out the inventory. What, what, what do I got? I got chest key. All right. Open up that bad boy. Push the wrong button. So when I have things to do, we're going to get the uh, room key so we can GTFO once more. There's nothing in there. Pick up that map. There's the revolver. What else? What else? I had the revolver. I could have... Uh, I could have shot that monster. The picture changed. That's not creepy. Not at all. Not creepy at all. It's just cross-eyed. Look at that. Just cross-eyed with the center eye. Um, I forgot about the gun plot twist. I forgot about the gun. So we got the cross side. All right, let's just do this. All right, the gun does nothing. All right, I think I'm shooting blanks. But this is like a different room, doesn't it? This doesn't seem as full. And let's uh, let's just move on. Open up that door. This game is just all sorts of weird. <clears throat> all right. Waiting for the game to load. Do -do 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 
like I said, I never expected a console or like a, a game that's on a chip or a card. Because when I when, when you play Super Mario Bros, I never loaded. <clears throat> oh, I hear something squishy. What is that? What is that? Alright. Oh, there's more. There's another one. The hand even has a mouth on it. Looks like there's some green mist coming up from that thing. So it's probably poison. I have to stay away from that. Let's see if uh, that hook and or shovel or anything like that are back over here. Well, it looks like I got uh, antidote, bandages, zucchini, more ammo. Okay. So it's not like I'm totally SOL. This kind of reminds me of um, the PS5 game Deathloop, where once you die, like, things change. But not to that extent, because that was just, that was, oh, that was fun. That was all. The banter and the dialogue, classic. Classic, classic. <laughs> but the hook is, it is, it is there. All right. Ah, what? 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 What hit me? What hit me? That thing? Is that thing the thing that hit me, or is there something over here? What is going on? Okay. Did I step too far? But, like, the level's changing with each death. That's interesting. Now I got the key to 210. Let's see if that other room is unlocked. What was it, room 111 or something like that? Dodge that thing. Oh, okay, hold on. Um, antidote. Use. So the it looks like doors that I previously opened will be locked. Oof. But here's that shovel. That's the. Well, that's news. I don't know if it's good or not. Because I have to. Ah. Uh, gotta dodge that hand. Man. It's a random statue. All right, let's go this way. Actually, got some more bullets. That means I have 13 bullets. Let's see if I can just do a quick combine. There we go. Now I have full ammo. A skull there, just hanging out. Probably have to dig here, so let's dig. I found something. I can't carry anything else. All right, well, there's the key to room 101. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go in this room and drop something off. What am I going to drop off? All right, I'm going to drop off the ammo because I have a a full like a full clip or a full what the heck's a call for revolver wheel all right so let's start no 
I don't see anything over there, but it didn't let me get rid of the uh, the um, shovel, so I might have to use it for something else. But let's... Let's use one of these keys. What is going on with this game? Chamber, thank you. <clears throat> Got a creepy game. Weird. Just straight up weird. All right, this time I'm going to be being all ninja like, being very low. Oh, don't let plot twist here to say that. Uh, more bullets. It's a part of you for soup. Oh, a potion. It has a lock on the cover. It has a lock on the cover. Alright. Do I have a uh, storage container here? Still going through the motel and taking notes. I think that if I keep going like this, I could even write a novel. Who knows? Bit of mystery and even horror. Yesterday, while I was taking a walk, I saw the head of construction for the motel's renovations was hiding. He was holding a map of the building. I found it strange that the structure seemed different from the motel. It was also he's staying in room two hundred nine. So, something I did notice was the etching on that book. And I'll go here shortly. I'll show you shortly. I can't carry anything else. Uh, inventory. There is nothing interesting in this book. There is nothing interesting. I think I'm becoming a wild animal. I've been running from a shadow for so long. I'm afraid of a trap. Barely eat. I can sleep since I'm alone. So on the same thing has been knocking on the motel walls every night, getting closer to me. Although sometimes I, I think those sounds are only in my head now. I only know one thing I can guarantee is true. I don't want to be trapped. So as I was saying, there's a wolf on this one, right? There is a snake on this one. Where's that other book? There's a turtle on this one. But then if I go over here, there's a wolf on this one. So, oh dear. I'm just gonna let you hang out there for a minute. <clears throat> You're not going to open a door, are you? It's not working. It's not working. It looks like a bar of soap. I better not. Uh, maybe you read a couple of books with me. <laughs> Getting your limbs off. <laughs> Getting your limbs uh, off by a prison runaway and getting free hugs from or so teeth. It's a part of you for soup. Metal canister. I don't know what's inside. I can't carry anything else. That's the thing. It's like, I can't carry anything else. It's a part of you for soup. I only have six slots. 
Ah, uh, okay. Let's see what happens if I start shooting this. Okay. That takes more than one shot. How many shots does this thing take? <laughs> this game this game now I gotta deal with this creepy guy again you keep dying and dying again and again I thought we had already talked about this but what could I expect from you okay from the beginning need to know what the girl you brought was researching. I'm risking my neck, you know? So, we're going to try it one last time. Do it right. Or I'll do the dog food. No hard feelings. By the way, one last thing. I think you're being lighter without that extra leg. <laughs> <laughs> this game! It reminds me of Saw, that movie Saw. I definitely did not enjoy that movie. I'm not saying it was a bad movie. I personally did not enjoy that movie. Ugh. It reminds me of that, though. It reminds me of that. Oh, geez. Okay. So, it looks like I'm going to run out of lives. I think... The letters on this door represent the number of lives that you have. And I think I'm on my last one. So, if that's the case, because it's not really a progressing story like Resident Evil or A Plague Tale, I might have to do a replay of this. So, um, does that mean I'm going to have to make like... No, I'm not going to do separate channels, but I might have to have like separate titles, like Replay or Platinum or something like that. I'll, I'll have to think about that. I'll have to think about that. Nothing in storage. It's not working. There's a foot in there. There's a straight up foot in there. Uh, this place is looking more messed up and chaotic as time progresses as uh, lives progresses I'm wondering if the uh, the music from the, the stereo is going to be different too Well, it's different. <laughs> All right, let's let's start doing our thing, I guess. I've got the revolver here. Oh, let's pick up that light. Oh, but look at this sight. Every single time you die, the uh, like everything changes. Oh, look at that. Look at that creepy ass thing. But that means like because everything changes, I should probably check all of the drawers and stuff. Uh. <clears throat> Oh, it hit me. Well, um, I don't necessarily have an antidote, so. Oh, I do. Oh, it 
poisoned me again. I was too close. Well, let's uh, let's just shoot this thing and see if we can actually get a kill. All right. Oh, there's a there's a there's a key underneath there. So maybe I should actually start investing in uh, wiping out these monsters because there was a key underneath that mob. I think this was a key I previously had, or or not. But either way, I don't have an antidote, so you're you're not going to be living much longer, dude. Wait, maybe not. I don't know. But the fact is, he's going to KO. <clears throat> he's going to KO. Let's just go back in the tub. Say you were never, you were never here. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, boy. <laughs> Man, okay, let's... Uh... I'm going to have to be more mindful of the radius of those poison things. It took about three shots, and I don't know if there are target points, like if you if you shoot the head, per se. Are you serious? <laughs> See you again. <laughs> Holy crap, this game. Doc has finished with Matt. Matt wasn't able to escape from Oxide. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yes. I put the individual in Oxide, but it was no use. The synchronization with Eva was a disaster. Uh, yes, I conducted several tests, but we do not have enough information. Don't worry. Everything is under control. I can still interrogate the other two. Other two? The girl? Right. She escaped from the cell, but she's walking through the lab. It won't take me long to chain her up. Giggity. The other. I just connected him to Oxide. Okay, so I think I'm kind of right about the Matrix Inception type of deal. Wow, I beat the game. <laughs> you know, these are actually really short credits. When was the last time you played a game or watched a movie with credits this short? With credits this short. So, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna, am I gonna do a J.P. Edgar replays? Because now, when I play this game again, I've already played it. I didn't really beat it, per se, but I'm going to be starting from the beginning. I guess... Kind of? Kind of? All right, let's, let's go again. Let's see if we can do better this time. <clears throat> So it looks like we are quite literally starting this game from the beginning. The good news is we have a general idea on what's going on. We know not to touch this uh, touch the centipede. Hold B to skip. We know not to touch the centipede twice. I've got to find my clothes. Okay. Let's see, what was uh, Okay. But it's like the more pain he endures, the, like the worse off he's going to be. Let's see if I can actually Looks like there's something shiny at the bottom. 
I'm just going to pick this up before I urinate. But his left hand is, uh, is kind of messed up still. Was it messed up in the beginning? I think so. Yeah. Just nasty. Just, just, just rinse. Just. Yeah, we're going, we have to do this. They put it in the game. We have to do it. Why did they put it in the game? I don't know. It's not working. Well, you can't flush it. Okay. Metal canister. I don't know what's inside. All right, let's see. It's locked. Three, seven, three. We have to get out of here. Uh, I think this was it. I think this was it. Get some more slots. Okay, let's see, what else? Was there anything else I needed to grab? Yes, this up here. This up here. Yes, there we go, there we go. And we had some gauze. So now we have the antidote, the gauze, and the... Uh, the key to the door. I'm just going to store these for now. Now that we have a better idea of what's going on, I don't think I'm going to need them quite as soon. So, this game is just, uh, it's so surreal and demented. Inventory, use that, roll that beautiful bean footage. Oh, I got to Left hand. All right. <clears throat> so then we had something in the dirt. Okay, then we had storage there. We had this light. Oh, do we have to pick up all those... Uh, Papers again? No, it looks like all the papers are saved. So if you were to run this game like three or four times, all your saved papers will be saved. So this time we're not going to play with that. That's not the key, is it? OK, so let's see if we can't get this little thing with you get to work because i was thinking about the uh the teapot see if we can't get oh, this I have to get out of here. no maybe i'll just turn the teapot oh wait 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 i get it i get it so what if i actually put the teapot on here turn the burner on made the teapot ridiculously hot and then put the teapot on that centipede. I don't think that's going to work. Maybe not. Maybe not. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. Maybe not. It's not working. It's not working. <sighs> okay. Salt? Maybe the salt will work? <clears throat> because no water's going to come out of here. Do I even need to uh, like take care of this little centipede thing? Yeah, because I think the key's there. Wait. 
I guess that worked. What about that pot, a tea kettle? Do I have to use a, a here or something? I don't know. I just don't know. It seems like no water comes out of here. Like no water comes out of anywhere. Try the first knob. Uh, this one right here starts at a, uh, starts lighting it, but it's not letting me uh, put the teapot down. All right. Well, at first glance, I don't think there's really anything else we need to do in here. So let's. Uh, Unless, that's right. I'm just going to take one more look inside the bathroom. I'm going to see if I can't use it on the sink or, or anything like that. Just one more feeble attempt because it's giving me the option for inventory. But it's not, it's not being highlighted. So it almost seems like it wants to. I'm not going back in there. I'm not, I need to go back in there. But I don't think so. I don't think there's anything I need to do with this. Well, I guess let's let's egress. <clears throat> I'm gonna uh, put the put that in storage for now. I don't know what it's for, and if I need it, I'll come back. And if I died, well, then it doesn't really matter. Inventory. There we go. So then we're going to have some really creepy stuff. It's going to be a quick time event. That's going to make me go to the uh, the pool room, kind of like the the maintenance room, I think, or storage room of some type. As soon as the the game finishes loading, as soon as the game finishes loading, I'm still wondering why they gave me that tea kettle though. So we're going to go until I die. Hey. What the hell? What? Shit. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? All right. Quick time events. The that creepy old thing. Yeah, see, it's just, I, I, I don't know. Like, where did that truck come from? Where did that truck come from? This game is so creepy. This game is so creepy. All right, so now we are back in this room. This time, we didn't die, so we're going to have things that we didn't see prior. So let's uh, take a moment and actually get a nice clean look. Like a full on look. Okay. Because I've got the revolver here. piece of something here oh not for long so let's put the gauze back in the storage let's put the antidote in the storage I said let's put the antidote in storage thank you probably put the bullets in storage but I have a feeling I'm going to be running into uh, TC torsos here shortly 
So I want to uh, make sure I have ammo to remove them from existence. See if they drop something that I will need. But first, let's check out this. This is inventory. This is a badge. It belongs to the head of construction. There's a name on it, R. Lorenzo. Lorenzo! All right. I don't think there's really anything else I need here, but I'm just going to do one more search up top. Yeah, I didn't see anything else. Nothing interactable. And let's go. Some Silent Hill BS going on. Straight up Silent Hill stuff. All right, so then we got, we're going to have the hook to deal with, but I'm, going to, I'm just doing like a full on search because like I said, this is um, a round where I didn't die in the beginning, it's halfway intentionally. So there's, there might be some extra stuff that I could pick up or investigate. So, but like I said, once I die this time, I'm going to call it and we'll, we'll pick it up again later. Kind of running the perimeter. I'm going to go after the hook. The hook isn't there. Huh. Okay. Some gauze. Oh, kind of. Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> that thing just up and did a Peter Pan right off that ledge. <laughs> 10 points if you know where that's from. Did a Peter Pan right off this dam. Well, let's... I... We have a key to 111. Let's uh, take care of the inventory first. I can't grab that because I don't have the hook. I can't reach it. Did I? Maybe the. No, the hook was right here. I'm pretty positive the hook was right there. So that means it's moved. I'm going to have to find out where its original location is. But first things first, let us store that. I'm going to. Store this as well for now. All right. And we are going to go to room 111. Which it has, has been confirmed that if I die with a key, I lose that key. Nine... Go. We got the shovel over here too. That we can deal with. Wanna deal with the shovel first? At the very least, I want to pick it up and put it in storage. I know it's a lot of running back and forth, but I'm just trying to make a mental checklist on everything. No, I'm gonna do the shovel now. Because um, I have the key. I know exactly where that's going to take me. I don't know what's in there. But I know I'm going to need to uh, go in that direction. Okay. And this is where I uh, crawled out of to escape. What did that say? Litter stops here. Yeah, I'll get right on that. So let's go back here. We're going to start putting some stuff away to clear up some inventory space. Inventory management. Just inventory management. We're going to store that. Let's go to room 101 first. Let's go to room 101.
fair. Okay. What is going on with room 101? What is going wrong with room 101? So it took three shots to take out that plant-like creature. I think I shot Toothy Torso two to three times, and it didn't die yet. Okay, so I think Toothy Torso is going to be in there. So let's not go there until I finish doing some general searching of the area. So we already have a general idea what's going on with the puzzle. We have the... Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. We have the turtle here. It is an old closed suitcase. Old closed suitcase. Okay. Well, I, I'm going to get to that shortly. I'm going to get to that shortly. All right. I just have to be thorough again, as I, oh, I wasn't here with no deaths. How I live, travel, change houses, motels, hotels, hostels. That's my everyday. I work from my room and office uh, with people from around the world, and I usually get bored quickly with being in the same spot. So I'm never in the same place or country for more than three to four months. My services include creating web portals, managing capital, cryptocurrencies, Silly money pictures, online sales, always without restrictions, and of course, always trying to get the most profit. I have lots of jobs because I'm a, I have been able to keep uh, meet the right people. I also tend to keep my, keep to myself. I never stick my nose in my partner's businesses. I stay in my lane and I get paid. I'm not sure if I've ever done something on the edge of legality, but for F sakes, who hasn't uh, run a red light or two? People without a driver's license. People who have never driven a car. There is nothing interesting in this book. All right. It's a tired, useless book. All right. So if I turn this on, will it? No. It's not working. 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 There is nothing interesting in this book. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I think that just about covers it. Now it's time for me to go into. Bathroom. How's my inventory doing? How's my inventory doing? I have two spots open. Nothing. Huh. Okay. Hawkins hat. They look a little dirty. It's not working. All right. Oh, there's a key here. And that thingamajiggy. So let's check let's check out that thingamajiggy first. Um well it's not okay, emblem. Bathroom key. Does that mean I'm locked in here again? No. Huh. What's the bathroom key for? I guess I'll find out shortly, right? I don't know what to find. I'll find out soon enough. So. Did I find any paperwork? Like, uh, for example, uh, when we were here the first time, there was Peter and the Wolf papers. So is there like something? Oh, wait. Maybe the key goes here. Maybe the key goes here. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. Okay. So is there a clue on which one I should open up? So I think I only I can only open up one. There is nothing interesting in this 
I don't see anything. I don't see anything, do you? Hmm. All right, well, I don't see anything locked here. I opened up all the drawers, right? There's a box, but I can't really interact with it. Yeah, I don't think there's anything, ain't going to be anything else in here. Huh. All right, well. <laughs> Let's see what uh, what we can do with this little emblem. Um. Oh dear. Antidote use. Okay, that blue goat. But there were no clues on this. There. Huh, and the thing with you is gone. I think that's a lost opportunity at this point. Because everything's going to be closed off, there's not going to be anything. There is nothing interesting in this booth. No. That might have been a lost opportunity, just like the, uh, the tea kettle might have been a lost opportunity. Hum. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. All right. I don't know if there's anything else in here, so let's egress. Man. <clears throat> okay. Maybe uh, the Peter and the Wolf from the Third Life was that clue for me to use. Because a turtle blew a bunch of uh, poison in my face. So I wonder what the snake does. Is it more poison? Might have just been the wolf. Might have just been the wolf. I should have gone with my instinct to go with the wolf. Should have gone with my instinct to go with the wolf. All right. Okay. So... That was not as productive as I had hoped. But we did get another piece of paper. We did get another piece of paper, so at least we got that. There it is. Wait, why was that there now? Why is this here now? Okay, looking above me this time because I don't want that. Uh, oh, never mind. It already, it already did its thing. Um, yeah, use that. Okay, so what did I get? I got key to room two ten. That's going to be on the second floor. So let's go back to storage and do some minor inventory management. I'm going to uh, go to the second floor at another time. I don't know what the bathroom key is for though. So I want to store that for now. <clears throat> and I'm going to pick up the room 111. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. So let's go to room 111 now. That's, my, that's, the, that's the next one. That's the next one. This game, this, this, this game. <clears throat> All right. 
I don't know what's in here, so I'm going to have my gun drawn and pointed first, because i got to shoot face if necessary. i got to shoot some face if necessary. And if it's a torso chompy, I, need, I can count how many bullets it's going to take. There's a torso. Six. It took six shots. Uh, with no auto aim and pretty lackluster controls for aiming. Uh, that's tough. That that's that's tough. That's tough. But hey, we took out the uh, the chompy torso. So let's see what's going on in this room, huh? All right, we got this turtle here. What? Okay. It was I didn't. I wasn't able to search this room last time because I decided to. Okay, I'll, I'll check that out shortly. Uh, this is from evil. I don't want. I don't want to suffer anymore. It hurts her so much. Why is he doing this to me? Okay. It seems like no water comes out of here. All right. Uh, there's another thing right here. All right, then let's go through here. It won't open. I don't have the uh, the bathroom key on me, and there's no storage here. All right. Well, I guess I know what the bathroom key is for now. It's for the bathroom. <laughs> All right. Well, that's fine. That's fine. We can figure it out. We can figure it out. The teapot. It didn't really give me anything to interact with, but I'll check it out here shortly. I'll check it out here shortly. First things first, I need to go to the uh, the storage room and do some minor inventory management. You know, save some space, pick up a couple of things, see if I can't discard a couple of things. All right, so let's let's put what am I putting away? I'm gonna, I guess I'll put the bullets away. I know it takes six shots. Then I'm going to grab the grab 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 the bathroom key. That's it. I don't think I need anything else. Maybe I'll try the teapot with something. It might have to just. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab the teapot. It might have something to do with the stove. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I suspect this uh, this uh, session might last a little bit longer than my usual time because I haven't died yet. <laughs> so, but I haven't died yet. So, yeah, I'll hang out for a bit longer until I die. That's a tortoise. 
Well, I wasn't able to pick up or really do anything with the tortoise. I just don't know why. Alright, so, yeah, it's not giving me any options, nothing in the teapot, so maybe picking up the teapot was just nothing but a waste, but it's fine, we have, we have the key. We have the key, bullets here, we have a... Let's see. It's not working. Well, that's kind of a waste. It seems like there was really nothing going on. Let's see if there's anything behind this door. Nope. Well, that was anticlimactic. I expected something, anything. All right. Well, I guess it's uh, time to move on, right? I mean, what else can I do? Oh, yeah, these. Of course something bit you. Uh-oh. So I don't think I have any antidotes on me. So that might actually be it. Oh wait, I do. It looks like the key to one of the rooms. Fuck, something pricked me. Kind of meant to bleed, heal wounds quickly. I don't think I have any gauze on me. All right, let's try to rush to the uh, the storage room. See if I can get that gauze. Oh, but I wasn't able to figure out exactly which one to do. So I'm not going to have to remember. It's going to be the middle one for the key. I have a little bit of time, but not much. A little bit of time, but not much. I know precisely where I'm going. Oh, full of room. There we go. And that should get rid of that, right? There we go. Okay. So we we survived. We survived. Store. Now we have a, a key to room 103. So let's go check out 103. We're still... We're still working on the first floor. And this was the room next to where dude woke up. It's locked. Well, of course it's locked. Open, 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 open. Okay. <clears throat> room 103. Here we go.
Room 103. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Something is going on. What is that? You see it? Is that a baby? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, I got more. Good, 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 good. Yeah, play with this and matches, you creepy child. What is that? <laughs> that little box is storage? This is storage. This is storage. <laughs> this is a cardboard box from Amazon that's been left out in the rain. A cube with the letter E. All right, where am I? This place, am I in Mattel? Where am I? Someone help me, please help. Uh, the uh, cubes are gonna probably smell, spell evil. Nope, it is not evil. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what do these switches do? It's not work it's not working. It's not it's not working. It's not it's not working. Alright. It won't open. Locked. Can't carry anything else. Of course he can't. Okay. Wanna go back to the Amazon box? Let's put those away. Let's see. Bathroom key, another bathroom key? Or is it the same bathroom key? I've been waiting for this room. I thought you gave up after, uh, before the uh, before you exited the first room. There is nothing interesting in this book. The children's toy, somewhat old. Ah, okay. He left his stocking. It won't open. Just <laughs> what is this? It looks like a just a straight up torso with an eye on it. It's a large bed. Don't say it looks comfortable. All right. Oh, I guess I need the bathroom door key. The baby wants a hug. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll send the kid your way. The children's toy, somewhat old. Okay, let's see, we got it. An empty toilet bowl. That's not very useful. It's not working. Okay. Metal canister. I don't know what's inside. I picked up a rubber duck.
I keep hearing your voices and I feel that presence near me more and more. I think I'm going crazy. I've stopped going around the motel. I try to stay in my room where I think I'm safe, although now I'm not even sure of that. Come on. Turn page, right? Let's see. It's right here. Okay, well, I guess that's it for now. Okay. That's some... Oh, okay. Hot and tough. They look a little dirty. The faucet is turning. The faucet is turning. Okay. So not really much in this room. There is water that I can use for the He hit himself with the door. <clears throat> All right, so I don't know what's going on with these. Let's see, a very popular bathtub toy. Here, baby, have this toy. I guess I should actually start examining these things, huh? I don't think that's going to work. Okay, so I'm starting to wonder if some of these items are just straight up clutter for your inventory. Did I search through here? No, I did not. <clears throat> What does this motel want from me? Why am I trapped in this place? What is this motel? Every day the walls are getting colder and the smell of death grows stronger. I need to get out of here. I can only think of escaping. I think I'm going crazy. Me. I can't carry anything else. Oh, there's another block. All right. Well, I'm going to start. I want to put these blocks in the uh, in storage. I'm just going to put everything in there. The children's toy. Somewhat old. I got this. I got this. <laughs> what is going on with that kid? What is going on with that kid? There's nothing interesting. I'd say it sounds like it's dying, but... It's so much worse. <laughs> All right. It's just so much worse. Okay, so what's going to be my, ne my next step? Is it the next room? I think my next room is going to be room 210. Unless there's something here that I'm missing, but I don't see anything. So I think I'm clear to go. Let's go to 210. You creepy ass child. You know, I actually, I'm surviving longer than I thought I was going to, so that's one thing. <coughs> Yeah, this is gonna this is a long stream. <laughs> this is a long day. Long day. Long load times too. <laughs> All right. Have to get to the entrance of the motel. So save game. So I'm hoping, game slot? Okay, whatever. 
I'm hoping that'll save him everything instead of having to having to come back and everything's gone. But we'll see how that turns out. We'll see how that turns out. God, what a creepy, creepy game. A creepy game. A whole bunch of WTF, uh, WTFs going on. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. That just about does it for this episode. If you enjoyed the content, like, subscribe, notifications, comments, backflips, blueberry pies, or creepy-ass babies, whatever YouTube wants you to do nowadays. <laughs> and uh, check out my website, jpedgar.com, for my blog, my merchandise, my books, my schedule for my streams, and general updates here and there. And uh, as a general reminder, my uh, Let's Play and my Let's Play archives, the lives in the archives, are two separate channels. Those links will be in the description if you want to catch up on different games or start this creepy-ass game from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird, really, really weird. Anyway, thank you very much for stopping in. More Ridiculous to Come.